Welcome to another episode of Project Renegade. In this episode, we're going to remove two completely good amps. Like I said, we're going to remove two perfectly good amps and replace them with two better amps. The two amps that we're removing are for our sub and then our mids and highs. The sub amp is the Soundstream AR1.2500D, I believe is what it's called. And then the amp for the mids and highs is the Picasso Nano. I think it's the PN1 1000D or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on uh, the model number of it, but uh, it's the Picasso Nano for the mids and highs and the Arachnid series for the subwoofer. We'll be replacing them with the Rubicon Nano series, so we'll have matching amplifiers. These are also from Soundstream, so a huge thanks to those guys for sending these out. These are actually a little bit smaller than both of those amplifiers. Um, mainly, the subwoofer amplifier is smaller. The mids and highs amp is uh, similar in size. It's uh, smaller in one dimension, but actually a little bit bigger in the other. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. These are actually a step up in uh, the Soundstream line of amplifiers, so these are a little bit better quality. The subwoofer amplifier is going to give us a little bit more power, so it's going to be a fairly easy install because there's already two amplifiers in the location that these are going, so all of the wiring and everything's already there. All I have to do is basically unplug everything from the existing amplifiers and plug them into these. I'm going to run a bass knob on this amplifier so I can have a little bit of control over the subs because I am still running the three Soundstream Stealth 13 shallow subs. I know I said I was going to take those out, but I've been kind of having some fun messing around with those because those things are surprisingly loud for shallow subs. Yeah, I am running three of them, um, but it's surprising. I'll show a little bit of clips here and there later on in the video. I mean, it, it, it shakes everything inside the Jeep. Uh, so I would like to run the base knob on this so I can actually turn that down. And then, you know, if I feel like messing around with it, I could just crank the base knob up. But I'm going to mount it in a custom location, so I'll show that too. So that's enough rambling. Let's uh, get to work.
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to stay tuned. I've got more stuff planned for Project Renegade. If you came across this video and you're not one of my subscribers and uh, you like the video, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. So uh, yeah, make sure to check those out. And if you find a video that you like, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.